my heart about what I believed, what I stood for, and what I'd done in the past, because I have been in this fight a long time. As I remember when I was here in 1976 as an alternate delegate, and we were coming off Roe versus Wade, and I was part of that fight to put in the platform. I even fought with my own precinct chairman, Mr. Fred Smith, who was pro-choice. That's probably one of the reasons I was an alternate delegate and not a delegate. <laughs> In 1978, though, I was a delegate, and I went to the microphones because I felt very strongly then, as I do now. And also, earlier in that year, when there was a battle for the Equal Rights Amendment, which we felt could be used to legitimize marriage being something other than a man and a woman, with all respect to Mrs. Adams and, and Dr. Armstrong, years before they joined that fight, I was on the floor of the House of Representatives with a group called GAF, together with Eagle Forum. I testified, and I made a legislator so mad he wanted to get a policeman to throw me out of the legislature. That's what fighting for your principles believe in. And unless you have felt that kind of intimidation and threat as a 20-year-old student, then you don't know what it means to have that type of passion to stand up for it. And at that time, though, there were two other legislators, by the way, I have to tell you, they came over and rescued me and threw me back in. And I got to see, sit out in their seats the rest of the time. But that was the past. It's not the time to talk about the past. The time is to talk about what we will do in the future. The course is clear. If we want to save this country, we have to take back the House and the Senate, and there's no question we have to get rid of that man in the White House. All of our efforts, those that don't support me should I win, and if I lose, because I don't presume until you vote that I win, I will support the winners. All of us need to join in that effort. But before we do, we have work here in Texas because we have to elect Governor Perry against Bill White in the fall. I'm from Houston, folks, and I can tell you that he would not be good for Texas. Now, we know that the Republican Party chairman is conservative. We're not going to elect anybody that's not conservative. But we can take to the bank that if you were state chairman of the Texas Democratic Party, you got to be right there with Barack Obama. Bill White was chairman of the Texas Democratic Party, so he can tell you he's a moderate now, but we know what he is, and we're going to have to set a course to tell the rest of the state because we have to carry this state in November. And it's just not about beating Bill White. If we want to get rid of Barack Obama, we have to hold our ground here in Texas. Can you imagine winning the White House without Texas? Texas led the way for Ronald Reagan. He wouldn't be president unless he won the Texas primary in 76, which I was a part of, which is the reason why I announced yesterday that Michael Reagan had endorsed me. And that had led us then to help take the state Republican for the rest of the years. We have to get rid of the Barack Obama, we have to keep this state. And that means electing Perry. But to do that, so that we have that state on the electoral map, we have to be ready. I've told many of you I've faced the Obama machine in Iowa. I've seen their organization. They've got hundreds of volunteers, hundreds of paid people. We need to match them. I can do that. You've seen all the young people I've brought with me. Well, Mulder, the mobilizing. The young people are the lifeblood of this party. A uh, shout out to my young conservatives of Texas. 30 years I've been with them. But to do that, we not only have to bring young people, we need to organize the old people, we need to bring all the groups together. We need to build a grassroots organization from the bottom up. And we have to be united. The differences between myself and Kathy Adam and Dr. Armstrong and Tom Meichler are so small in comparison to the gap we have with the leftists up there in Washington. So as a final thought, 
I would just leave you with this. Whether Kathy Adams or myself is elected, everybody needs to come together. This movement, what we believe in, is so much more important than just one person. And our differences are insignificant to the duty we have to our country. I implore all of you, and I take the pledge with you, that no matter who wins this chairmanship, we will be behind the winner, and we will work together to take back this country, keep, Republican, keep Texas Republican, and defend our freedom. Thank you, and God bless you. Oh, did he gave us moon legs for all